So we have our city technical rescue team and we're simulating tree rescues. There's certain different uh, incidents that could happen where that would be warranted. So that's what we're simulating today and that's what we're practicing. Just a few weeks ago down in Arizona, they had a boy that climbed a tree. He was about 45 feet up and um, wasn't able to get down. They couldn't get their ladder truck physically close enough because of being on soil and not having stable ground. So they actually had to do a rope rescue. Other times that this happens is um, you'll have arborists that are up and doing tree work and they either could have a, an equipment failure or a medical emergency, so we need to quickly get up to them and be able to do this without the use of a ladder truck that can't get close enough. You guys ready? All right, go ahead and haul. So the yellow rope that you see behind me is uh, connected to the ground anchor system. That goes through a pulley system and then up to an overhead anchor above the victim. That way we can actually start lowering that person from above. Just keep passing around the tree. Okay. And then you're gonna step up here like this. Okay. And then you're gonna pull this rope through and it's gonna capture your waist. Okay. And that's that where I get sense? my slack. Up Correct. You're gonna pull the slack out of the red line. Um, as we're going up into the tree, we have a couple different options. We either climb with those gaffs or we can ascend up. So what you see going on behind me now is us having a static rope and actually having rope grabs onto our harness. And we use our feet and our legs just to kind of climb the, the rope, just like in gym class when we were kids. We do one um, to two rope rescue evolutions per year. There are really low frequency events, but they're really high risk, right? And especially if you don't train frequently in it, it makes it more high risk for the rescuer also. So to be able to affect these types of rescues, it's really imperative that we do this at least twice a year just for this specific discipline of tree rescue.